The world is becoming a crazier and crazier place. And it's becoming more important to know what's going on around you. Maintaining your situational awareness, as people like to call it. One of the best ways to maintain your situational awareness and gather information about the world around you is through the radio frequency spectrum. The RF spectrum is constantly full of transmissions flying through the air around you right now. Anything from police radio to handheld voice radio to satellite communications, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, cellular networks, aircraft telemetry systems, you name it. If it's wireless, it's out there and you can pick it up. One of the best ways to listen to radio frequency transmissions has been with a software defined radio. And the easiest and cheapest way to get into SDRs has been the RTL SDR dongle. This is a neat little USB dongle that has a maximum frequency range of 1.7 gigahertz and a maximum stable bandwidth of 2.4 megahertz. Now, this is nice, it's very nice. And if you're wanting to get into radios and communications and situational awareness in that aspect, you should absolutely pick one of these up and it should be part of your kit. And in fact, we like these so much that we decided to develop some stuff around it. The first thing was the small amount that basically let you carry it places. It protected the connectors a little bit and it had this handy little clip that lets you put it onto belts, chest rigs, plate carriers, backpacks, whatever you want, and drag your RTL SDR USB dongle around it with you. But as we've used the RTL SDR more and more, there's a couple of issues that have become apparent. The first one, first and foremost, as we mentioned, is durability. This is meant to be a USB dongle. It's meant to be plugged into a computer with an SMA cable or an antenna plugged in on the other end just kind of sit there on your desk comfortably. It's not meant to be used outdoors. Even with this case, the connectors are still flimsy, not waterproof, not water resistant, and just not a great outdoor option. The second one is that maximum 2.4 megahertz stable bandwidth. Now, that 2.4 megahertz is nothing to scoff at, specifically when compared to your traditional, more hardware-defined radios, but when compared to other software-defined radios, even something as simple as the Hack RF, it does leave a little bit to be desired. And the third issue is software. Well, there's a decent amount of software-defined radio software out there, specifically for the RTL SDR dongle. Some of it is most certainly lacking, specifically software-defined radio software for Android. There's not a lot, there's not a lot of options, and there's not a lot that you can currently do with it. These three issues have been on the forefront of my mind for quite a while. So we decided we're going to build a product that solves all of them. This is the SDR stick. The first of these three problems that we wanted to solve is physical ruggedness. The SDR stick is made from an extruded aluminum enclosure with a custom MJF end cap to accommodate all of the connectors. It has water resistant gaskets on all ends and on all connectors and is generally speaking much more rugged and durable than your standard RTL SDR dongle. The second problem that we wanted to solve is the bandwidth limitation. Now you might see that there's Two antennas on this, and that's because there's two RTL SDRs inside of the SDR stick. In fact, what the SDR stick is, is a ruggedized USB hub that's specifically designed to be able to hold two RTL SDR dongles. When you get yours in the mail, and I hope you do, you can unscrew the two connectors and the nut from your SDR, pull it out, plug it into the provided USB port inside of the SDR stick, connect the connectors for the end cap, Plug it in and you're good to go. Now, the reason that there are two RTL SDRs is because, well, two is better than one, but this truly is a system that's greater than the sum of its parts. Well, the first thing that comes to mind as far as bandwidth limitations and adding a second SDR is, oh, well, I can just see twice the bandwidth. 
Yes, and while that is true, there's actually a lot more capabilities that this provides you more than just being able to see more bandwidth. One of them is to be able to have one of the SDRs act as a dedicated tuner and have the other one doing different functions such as listening to a public safety control channel on a truck network and telling the other tuner which frequency to jump to or having your second tuner do a wideband scan picking up different peaks and frequencies and having the first tuner tune to those frequencies. Also, you can just run the two tuners independently as software-defined radio tuners, or have one of them listening, for instance, for something like ADSB packets, monitoring the airplanes around you, and having the other one just listening to the frequency spectrum as you do normally. The third issue that we wanted to solve with this is software. Now, it might seem a little bit difficult to see how that is at first, because this is a hardware product. But hardware, specifically software-defined radio hardware, and any kind of software-defined hardware, needs software to run. So we are not just releasing the SDR stick. In fact, we have a GitHub repository that we're currently working on called SDR SDK that is going to have a wide repository of open source tools and utilities specifically designated and built for the SDR stick. We're already currently working on one that utilizes RTL power and RTL TCP to be able to sweep across a wide range of frequencies, be able to spot any sort of peaks, and tune the other tuner accordingly. We also have a variety of other projects that we are currently working on and want to work on in the future, specifically more Android-related software for software-defined radios and the RTL-SDR, as we think Android is a fantastic way to get new people into SDR software. While it might not seem like much at the moment, we really do plan on using this to kickstart a bunch of different development for software options for not just the RTL-SDR, but a bunch of other software-defined radio and radio projects in general. And as far as the hardware, all of the hardware will be open source to where you can view it, you can edit it, change it, do with it what you want. Because we truly believe that open source is the way to go. We believe that community collaboration is one of the best ways to build things and one of the most reliable ways to build solid, reliable products, not just for hobbyist use, but professional use as well. The SDR stick will be available on our website. And for the initial launch, we're doing it as a two week long pre-order that opens the day that this video is released. You can pick one up there and you can either choose to get it without any RTL SDRs or up to two RTL SDRs with it if you don't have any and you just want to start your SDR journey off with this, which we think is a fantastic choice. But if you just want to get a dongle, we sell those too. In the coming weeks, we're going to have a lot more content going in depth onto this and more tutorials on our website and more related content on our Instagram. Stay tuned and remember, communication is key.